welcome to the next session on Answers Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we will analyze a flat specimen for its tensile test. We will be analyzing this specimen using composite material. We will start by double clicking on ACP Pre, as you can see over here. First, we will go to engineering data and double click. Engineering data sources. We will go to composite materials and double click. The material which I will be using is epoxy carbon. So, I am using this 230 gigapascal wet and 230 gigapascal prepreg so both of them then I'll go to project and update project next I'll go to geometry and I'm going to directly insert the flat specimen geometry which I created for the tensile test of steel material we'll go to geometry and right click and go to design modeler. I'm going to edit the geometry a bit. For tensile test in explicit dynamics, we were using extrude option for creating the body in 3D. Here we can't do the same, so I'll delete this extrude option from here. Yes. Now I have the sketch, so I'll go to concept, surfaces from sketches. I'll select the sketch, apply, and generate. For composite material analysis, we need a 2D body. So, I have created that and I will close this now. Next, I will go to model and double click. It is asking for the thickness. I will go to this thickness and I will give the value as 1 mm. Such that the surface body can be seen now. Then I will go to mesh. I will give the sizing as... 5 mm and generate. You can see this quite coarse, so I right click on mesh and insert refinement. I'll select the surface and apply and generate once again. So when you click on mesh, you can see the sizing has reduced. So once this is done, we we'll just update over here. And we'll close this. Then I'll go to setup and double click. I'll first go to material data. Materials. You can see here the two materials which we have selected is here. I'll go to fabrics. Right click. Create fabric. The first one I'll call it as CF. wet so i'll select from here the wet one thickness i'll give as 0 0.1 now i want to give the units in mm so you just go and check the units you can see here it is in meter now i'll change this by going to units i'll make it to millimeter so i'll just go to the fabric value once again i'll right click here properties i'll change this to 0 0.1 apply Okay, so you can see a green tick, the material has been created properly. Then again, I'll right click create fabric. Since we are using two of them, I'll change this to C, F, prepreg. I'll change this one to the prepreg one. This is 0 0.1 and apply. Okay. So, both these have been created. So, once the fabrics have been created, I'll go to stack ups. Right click here, create stack up. Here, I'll give the first fiber as prepreg. Next one, I'll give as wet prepreg, wet prepreg. So, I have added all the layers. This angle, I'll give as 45. 
This is minus 45, 45, minus 45, and this is 45. Apply. Okay. Once the stack up has been created, we'll go to element sets. All elements are here. I'll right click properties. I'll click over here. Apply. Okay. So this is created. Then I'll go to rosets. I'll right click here, create roset. Here I'll go to this position. Apply. Close. Then I'll go to oriented selection sets. Right click, create oriented selection sets. It is asking for the element set. I'll insert the element set from here which we have created all elements. Then I'll go to resets and I'll insert the one which I've created. I'll go to this point over here. Flip. Apply. Okay. This is created. Then we'll go to modeling group. Right click create modeling group. Apply. Okay, then I'll right click over here, create ply, oriented selection sets, I will give the one which I have created from here, ply material, stack up one, number of layers I'll give as seven, apply, okay, then I'll go to solid models, right click, Create solid model. Element sets are all the ones. Apply. Okay. So you can see your solid model now. It is having some thickness which we have created. And here you can see the plies. So once this is done, we will close this. I go to setup, right click, update. Now we will go to static structural and we will insert the module here. Because we want to go for tensile test. So tensile test will require static structural module and this was mainly for creating the composite material, for choosing the material and creating the layers for the geometry that we need. So we already had the flat specimen, we created the surface, we have given the layers and we have created the composite using the geometry we require. So now I will be giving this data into this model, transfer solid composite data. Now I will go to model and double click. Now we go to static structure and right click, insert, fix support at one end. Then I'll insert pressure on the other side. Here I'll give the value of pressure as say 15 megapascal. Now you can see the direction is this way, so I want it outwards. So I'll give it as minus 15 megapascal. This side is fixed. This side is showing the 15 megapascal value. Then I'll go to solution, right click, insert stress equivalent. Here I'll change it to layer. Then again I'll insert stress maximum principle. I'll change this to layer. I'll also insert stress normal and change this to layer. Then I'll insert, you can come to composites, composite failure tool. I want this inverse reserve factor. It is called as IRF. This value is most important. In this, I will change the Psi Vu to on. 
this criteria is what we are going to use this theory also maximum stress i'll change it to on then i'll go to solution and solve so we'll see the equivalent stress over this body you can see here if you zoom this you can see these layers so we will click on play we can see the maximum stress generated is 47.76 megapascal and this kind of motion will take place you can see the maximum principal stress is 49.557 megapascal in certain zones and it is minimum of 8.5485 megapascal this also you can animate and see it will give you the same animation then you can see the normal stress over this body is 36.65 9 megapascal you can see the variation of values it is maximum in this central zone where the layers are in ply form and obviously here the breaking is going to take place then we'll go to the composite failure tool here we'll click on the irf inverse reserve factor which we want to see now this is very important you need to understand that like safety factor in metals composites have something which is called as inverse reserve factor irf so when this value is between 0 to 1 your material is absolutely safe and it can withstand the amount of load or pressure whatever you call you have applied but suppose if it is crossing 1 and going ahead then your material is going to show you failure so you need to take care of that factor and now if you see here it is all in blue which is very less 0.01444 like very small value so it is very safe Now what I do is I'll just increase this pressure to say 500, so that I can show you what happens if this value increases and how you judge the failure. So let's see this IRF. You can see it is completely red, and it is showing a value between 12 to 1000. You can go for this probe, and you can check over here. It is showing three point or two point, some kind of a value. It is more than one, which indicates that the material is going to be unsafe under this kind of loading condition. So you need to reduce the amount of load. So that's how you can analyze and answer how to decide what is the load that this material is going to take. So your IRF value should be one or less than one. Now, one more factor which I'm going to include is the deformation. Total deformation over this body. I'll solve once again. You can see the total deformation is 10 mm, 10.699 mm to be precise, which is quite large for this body because of which it has become unsafe. So it actually cannot undergo this amount of deformation. But we will go back to the pressure value we had given, though it was very less. You can also increase it to minus 50. I had initially taken minus 15. You can make it to 50 also and check. your body will still be safe actually your deformation is just 1.069 mm so that is why your body was safe and it was showing this kind of a irf value you can still see it is in this range but it is not crossed one you can use the probe to check it is in blue this is in some other shade of blue this is all in zero point value which means your body is safe so with this i end the session i hope you have understood the tensile test of a composite specimen if you have any doubt please write to me in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon for latest video updates see you in the next session thank you mm -hmm.